Hi Scorpio, welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. This is your Law of Attraction general tarot reading for the month of October 2016. You can also check out your moon and your rising sign. And I have also shuffled and there are no reversals in this deck. So we are ready to get started. Okay, Scorpio, this first card is your objective, what you're shooting for and desiring in the month of October. Second card is what you're identifying with and valuing. Third card is a possible challenge, distraction, illusion, or doubt. Fourth card is the strategy to take the plans to be made. Fourth card is the right attitude to have with yourself and others. And the last card is the realization or the outcome. Okay, what you truly desire in the month of October, Scorpio, we have the Page of Pentacles. Now the Page of Pentacles is a young energy so some of you might have your eye on someone younger than you, but this also Scorpio could be you because this person is very academic and they're very studious. As you can tell, there's a lot of thinking going on here. This person is involved in study, in learning and observation in intellectual pursuits and so some of you might be getting instruction this month where you're really thirsty and craving uh, deeper knowledge, deeper truth, deeper realizations. This also is a very meditative person. So I feel that whatever you're working on Scorpio, you're really taking it seriously. Like October is a month to just like go all out hardcore. And if you are dealing with a earth sign, um, a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, it could be a younger male. This person does have dark hair and possibly dark eyes, or it could be you that has dark hair and dark eyes, but it is a page. So this is a messenger. So I also feel that you are expecting some type of news, some type of information you are hungry for this month. And you're really hoping that it's going to come to you. But I feel that Scorpio, you have your, your guard up with this information or, you know, you're not, you're not going to just be completely open with it. I feel that you are going to be cautious and, and need to be cautious with whatever you are seeking to understand and to find out. So you are looking into something, but you're doing it very carefully with a lot of premeditative, you know, using your intuition and your gut. So someone could be bringing you a message. Maybe you're just in conversation with someone and your ears are wide open, but this is an earth energy Scorpio. So whatever you are working on, because I do feel some of you are working on projects, goals, work, business dreams, you're being very thorough this month, very methodical, uh, your nose to the grindstone. You know, you are a relentless worker. Uh, when you are onto something, you are very strong willed. And so I do feel that energy coming through. It's like October for you is, is a month of discipline. And I don't feel like you're going to want to be at, you know, party or just be out on the town. Like you don't want to waste a lot of time this month. You want to stay focused. You want to employ discipline to what you're doing and you want to soak in and learn as much as you can, but you're, you're kind of cautious and still secretive with what you're finding out. There's a need here to still be reserved and just not to, you know, espouse everything that you're working on. Okay. So what you are valuing and identifying with in the month of October, Scorpio, we have the magician card. I love this. Okay. Um, you know, obviously I feel that this is you, no doubt about that, but we do have to talk about that it represents Gemini and Virgo. So the main thing I'm getting here is that you're mastering your craft. You are 
putting forth a ton of energy into what you are passionate about and you are determined to become a master, to become skilled in your pursuits. This is about you planning. I mean, you can see here, this person is completely focused, completely deliberate, hammer, you know, working hard. And the main thing I'm getting here is that you're employing strategy. Everything that you're doing this month in relationship, in your conversations, in your work, in your activities, there's a strategy here, Scorpio. It's not thoughtless, no, not at all. You are planning things out. You are using kind of your mastermind to, to make things manifest. It's actually a really awesome energy because even though I feel like you're set to do these things, you're also remaining flexible and open. So you're not like, this is the only way to do it. You're like height, you're heightened, you're sensitive to, to what God and the universe and your own intuition is trying to show you. So you're not just locked into a certain viewpoint. And we have a number one here. So one has to do with, you know, your creative juices, your creative energy and aspirations. And it has to do with power. And we know Scorpio that, you know, power is important, that you are harnessing this power, that you have the gift of power. And the key is obviously to use it for good. And you are, for some of you, this could be a new beginning because we have a young page and we have a, a one. So something could be new here. It could be fresh and you're putting your all into it. This is where you shine Scorpio. This is where your gifts and talents are just so amazing. When you apply your willpower and your determination to something, you take action and initiative. And I feel like the universe is saying you're on the right path here. This is what you're meant to do. Okay, possible illusion, distraction, or doubt. Very interesting, we have the judgment card. So the thing I'm getting here, Scorpio, is just doubting, you know, doubting yourself, doubting the process, doubting um, the universal principles, because obviously we can control certain things, but this is like the outcome. This is about, you know, karma. And so maybe there's some things in the past that have not caught up yet or have not been resolved. I feel like there's some issues that you are still waiting on to understand, um, to seek and to know. And so you might be kind of doubting is, are these messages ever going to come true? Am I ever going to understand why this or that happened? Why that relationship was severed? Um, why we couldn't communicate, whatever the issue is. This is, there's still something in the past where your efforts, your seeds that you planted, you don't understand how it turned out, why it turned out, or it has not turned out the way you had expected or hoped. And so I do feel that there's a little bit of that going on, maybe in the subconscious, where you're still trying to figure this out and it just hasn't come through. And so the message here is to not doubt, to not give up, to not lose faith, to know that divine timing is not the same as our timing, that you can trust, that these forces are always at work, even if we can't see them, even if we don't understand them or the timing doesn't seem like it's right, and that you will be, you know, justice will come, karma will come around, um, but it's really not up, up to us. So I feel like just kind of letting that go and moving on with your gifts and your talents and your passions. Okay, so the strategy to be made, the actions to take, very interesting. Now we have the emperor card. So here we have a fire energy and whatever you're pursuing here, Scorpio, is going to require you to dig deep. It's going to require you to show leadership, okay? Um, what you're embarking on is not for the faint of heart, is not for cowards, is not for people that, you know, are, scared and afraid. This is about showing strong leadership and it may not be direct force, but it's almost like an inner strength. And also Scorpio, I feel like you're going to have to rely on who you are in God, meaning that, you know, sometimes we get people's validation and sometimes we don't. And so you are being called upon to be that spiritual source 
that spiritual light to help other people. It's, you know, the temptation could be to look for outside validation. And yes, you may get some of that, but the timing may not be right for that. So you really have to rely on doing the right thing and, and stepping out in leadership. This is also not a time to compromise yourself, to water down yourself. The emperor here is, is very rational. So I feel like really letting your head and your logic guide you this month to really maintain power and control of yourself, your thought processes, and to not let the outside affect you, but just to stay strong in who you are, in your truth, and what you're doing. This is also the number four. So going on a path that's going to increase your stability. That's where you want to be moving towards Scorpio. You want to be moving towards people, situations, um, your own way of life that's going to increase your sense of stability, inner authority, and also moving towards you know personal achievement. You're in an incredibly powerful position this month to achieve, achieve your goals. I mean, that much is clear. I mean, here we go again, Scorpio. We have the right attitude to have for yourself and others. Now we have the justice card. This is about discipline. So this is going to be a very important month. This is like a breakthrough month for you. Um, so it's going to be incredibly important that you discipline yourself in whatever way that is. And because you're so passionate and intense, sometimes that intensity can be misdirected. And so I feel like in your relationships is going to be really critical that you employ self-discipline and use your logic this month um, because I feel like that's really just going to help you in your relationships. This is the card of Libra. So Libra teaches us about balance and um, you know, for signs that don't have any Libra in them, it seems like a foreign concept because Scorpio, you know, you're more about all or nothing. And Libra steps in here and says, no, 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 a little bit of this, a little bit of that, not too much of this, not too much of that. And so it can be tough. It can be tough to find this kind of middle ground, but I feel like trying and seeking to do this in relationships where you're balanced in your relationships and in your communications with others is going to be helpful this month. And this is also just a reminder that there's a reason you're doing this, Scorpio. There's a reason that you are putting in all this work and effort and trying to be fair and just is because you know that there's a reward. You know there's a payoff for this. And so it's a worthwhile goal to strive for. Okay, Scorpio, so now we have the realization or the outcome. We have the seven of wands. More fire energy for you here. Now, this tells me that Scorpio, you are destined here to be in a place of authority or power. And by implementing all of these changes that you're making this month, you are going to be in a place that you're able to handle whatever comes across your path. You're going to have the insight and the understanding to handle each personality with tact and diplomacy. You'll have the intuition and the knowledge to just be really good at interacting with whoever you come across, whether this is a business deal, um, a relationship, school, friends, family, you're gaining insight, you're gaining skills, you're gaining self-control and power on how to best handle the situation and achieve your goals. So this is really a card of victory and this is about you staying true to your intentions and I also feel that you'll be communicating with others in a very positive way and this is going to help you be successful. And it's just a reminder that even though you feel so passionate and excited about whatever you're in, to, to remain calm, to remain level-headed, and have the courage to stand up for your beliefs, but to do it in a way um, that is tactful and maintains you know, good relationships all around. So I would say that this is an incredibly powerful month for you, Scorpio. I think that you're going to accomplish a lot I really hope this has helped you. If it has, I would so appreciate for you to like and subscribe to the channel. That's gonna make sure you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. Scorpio, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.